So the next video is about the aneurysms. In that, by the definition, we can say that it is a permanent abnormal dilatation of the blood vessel due to weakening or uh, destruction of the blood vessel wall. So it is nothing but uh, dilatation. There may be different types of dilatation of the blood vessel due to weakening or destruction of the blood vessel wall. Most commonly involved are the elastic arteries and uh, um, most commonly iota is involved and uh, circle of villi in the circle of villi we can see uh, belly aneurysms we'll see later and the, the main complications are like uh, uh, it can alter the blood flow and the rupture of the uh, wall of the blood vessel can occur and also there may be compression of the structures that are surrounding the uh, aneurysms and also it may lead to thromboemboli due to uh, alteration in the blood blood flow it can uh, change the dynamics of the flow and it can dislodge the thrombi to form emboli. So, coming to the classification, it is mainly divided a, a group based on three, uh, depending on the composition of the wall, that is uh, what the wall is made up of, and depending on the shape of the aneurysms and based on the pathogenesis which is causing the aneurysm. So, first we will see depending on the composition of the wall. So, on the based on composition of the wall, it can be divided into true, true aneurysms and false aneurysms. True aneurysm means they have all the layers of the normal blood vessel uh, in the wall of the aneurysm. So, all layers are present, but in false aneurysm, there is a fibrous change in the wall. Uh, fibrous change, okay. Next, we have depending on the shape. So the next thing is depending on the shape. Depending on the shape, we have saccular, which means uh, it uh, there is a large sp a spherical di dilation of the wall of the blood vessel. Uh, you can see here. And uh, next, we have fusiform, which is spindle in shape, and uh, cylindrical, which uh, which has parallel dilations. And next, we have serpentine, which means tortuous dilation. And we have racemos, which means uh, between the interconnecting arteries and veins, there is a dilation. So you can see these are the types depending on the shape. Like uh, you can see here, this is a uh, saccular aneurysm. This is spindle uh, that is fusiform. And uh, this is a cylindrical and this is serpentine. And uh, this is racemos. And based on the pathology which is involved, Pathogenetic mechanism, uh, it can be atherosclerotic, means uh, uh, due to atherosclerosis, or um, maybe symphilitic, it means uh, during the tertiary stage of symph symphilis, you can see this uh, change in, I mean, aneurysm, and uh, there is a specific uh, dissecting aneurysms in which the blood enters separate dissected wall of the vessel. We'll discuss this in detail later and in the next video. And in berry aneurysms, we see uh, the it, it has a berry shaped uh, dilation commonly seen in the circle of villi villas uh, and uh, you can see there is a berry aneurysm present uh, presented like this 